Uh, well, he had a lot of comments at CES, Pete. And some of those comments, of course, are that bloodbath that we're talking about in quantum computing. And his quote is, very useful, in quotes, quantum computers are probably 15 to 30 years away. Now, he didn't say revenue is 15 to 30 years away, but he did say useful quantum computing is probably that far out. And if you heard me on Charles Payne's show, Pete, uh, just right after the uh, the new year, I was telling uh, the lady sitting in for Charles, her name is Cheryl, I was telling her, you know what? Uh, first of all, you don't want to buy them on big up days. You're going to see big down days, drawdowns and all that kind of stuff. And uh, we're probably a few years away from significant revenue at all. Forget about profitable. But the only quantum computer right now, Pete, is right here in your head. <laughs> because quantum computing is such a crazy thing. It's not zeros and ones. It's zeros, ones, and both together. And mm -hmm. it's crazy. But you look at the stocks that are moving to the downside today, quantum computing stocks are leading the way down. Yeah. And, and on that move to the upside, just to recap it with Rigetti in this case, it was only up 400%, John, in the month of December. Not the year, <laughs> the month of December. So gives you a little bit of an idea of the kind of moves that we're talking about here. Strong stock moves. The fundamentals are yet to really produce. And when you look at the market cap, I think even the folks at Rigetti were a little bit stunned and shocked to be able to see what the market cap has, has really been ri risen to. And it's incredible. I think that there's one thing that people are maybe missing out on a little bit, John, is quantum computing to some degree is kind of interesting when you look at what Google has done and they've got that willow chip and they've talked about it's massively more effective and the quality of some of the errors that come out. So in other words, rather than a billion errors, they're coming up with a million errors. And that shows you something that's very, very critical. Obviously, you're trying to get the most uh, important information as fast as you can and you want it to be efficient and correct. Well, that's something that I guess Willow and that chip that they've got at Google has got something that they, um, they, they really are pretty proud of. So I would say I'm going to keep an eye on Google. I'm looking for unusual options that come in over there. It's one of the stocks that I like um, and from a trading perspective anyway. But I'll tell you, the quantum computing stocks, I don't know how long the turnaround is going to be, John. <laughs> is it going to be uh, something that's going to take a little while. I mean, if you're talking 15 to 30 years, uh, yeah, this this could be something that gets a little bit uh, dicey, I think, over the next six months even. <laughs> yeah, well, the volatility, we'll hit on that maybe uh, next week, Pete, yeah. on the Rebel Edge. But uh, the volatility of those quantum computing stocks through the roof.